The Lakers have been supercharged. All this just to take on Steph Curry. Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Switch Culture. A few days ago, I gave you guys a video on the teams that are ranked ahead of the Warriors. The only thing is, that video was only half the fun. And so I packed the second half into this 8 minute slot to talk about the teams ranked 1st through 4th. Clearly, the folks over at Sports Illustrated were drinking and partying the night this article was written, and discounting the Splash Brothers as Clay returns without taking into consideration what it really means to have the greatest ever shooting backcourt is a hot take right up there with I want Iguodala. I mean, even Hawks fans don't think the Hawks are better than the Warriors. This hot mess of an article needs no further introduction, as I already did so in the first video. But as we dive right in, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications for the latest Dub Nation videos. So far, we've seen the Atlanta Hawks at 8th, the Denver Nuggets at 7th, the Heat at 6th, and the Phoenix Suns at 5th. Sports Illustrated ranked last year's most ridiculous 3-point shooting team, the Utah Jazz, at number 4 going into 2022. After winning 4 in a row to defeat the Memphis Grizzlies last year in Round 1, the Jazz, after being up 2-0, got clapped by the Clippers who won the next 4 games to put an early end to the Jazz's bid for a Western Conference Finals appearance. Having gone 52-20 during the regular season, the Jazz had the best regular season record and was thus the toughest team to beat during that portion of the season. With the lights out shooting of Donovan Mitchell, Boyan Bogdanovich, Joe Ingles and Mike Conley, and defensive player of the year Rudy Gobert, the Jazz were practically a cross it off the list loss for most other teams last year. Let's not forget 6th man of the year Jordan Clarkson. However, as good as they were, after beating the Warriors in the initial faceoff between the two, they lost the next two as Curry, Wiggins and Green smacked the Jazz in their second matchup with Dre notching a triple double and Steph Curry taking down a scorching hot Jordan Clarkson in the third and final matchup. The Warriors top 5 defense played a pivotal role in allowing the team to come away victorious against the Jazz. Since then, the Jazz have doubled down and acquired a second Rudy, stole Eric Paschal after threatening to offload Joe English to Dub Nation and currently working on a sequel dubbed Broke Black Mountains with the addition of Whiteside to the front court with Gobert. If the Jazz thinks this makes them better than the Warriors, I've got some beachfront property to sell you Jazz fans north of the Arizona border. Bielitsa and Porter Jr. will wreak havoc on the Twin Peaks. The Warriors record last season came as a result of playing down to the level of lower tier teams, while surprising highly ranked teams with vicious beatings. In my opinion, the Jazz are a bit high up this list and definitely not a better team than the Warriors. This brings us to the top 3 ranked teams this year in the NBA. folks. Check your nursing homes for missing grandpas because the Lakers are taking old folks from everywhere. With the oldest squad in the league and the only team with an average age of players in the 30s, the Los Angeles Lakers are banking on using extended experience combined with Hall of Fame level skills to level the playing field against Steph Curry. How you, same way you slow me down. You can't. LeBron James is indubitably aware of the threat the Warriors pose to his legacy and as such has recruited a squad that includes not one, not two, not even three or four, but five other players that are set to be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. LeBron knows that if he doesn't take out Steph Curry and leaves it up to chance that Steph could win a fourth championship and most definitely the finals MVP award. This would be the absolute undoing of LeBron's legacy that Steph Curry would win four rings matching LeBron on his watch with the exception that Steph brought four rings to the team that drafted him as opposed to going elsewhere and teaming up with purchased Hall of Famers to get it. After ending last season with a 42-30 record, good for 7th in the West, the Lakers held on to defeat the Warriors by virtue of LeBron's luckiest shot of his entire career, a well-defended prayer well behind the arc. Mind you, Steph had 37 that game and was the only offense the Warriors had, though I suppose you could count Wiggins 21 points as the Dove's second option. They then went on to lose to the Phoenix Suns in the first round of the playoffs after 6 games. Since then, however, the Lakers have lost Caruso, Schroeder, and Drummond, but in return have picked up Russell Westbrook, Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard, Trevor Ariza, Malik Monk, Rajon Rondo, DeAndre Jordan, Kent Bazemore, and Kendrick Nunn. The Lakers have been supercharged.
All this just to take on Steph Curry. Talent wise, the Lakers do have a more talented squad than the Warriors. But with age being a potential issue for the Lakers, to beat the Warriors, they especially will need to stay healthy. At the end of a rigorous 82 game season, however, these two teams won't exactly match up in the same fashion. On paper, the Lakers literally have the most stacked roster, with all the big names that you could possibly fit on one franchise. But the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The Warriors will be an underdog in this fight, but their chances of winning are much higher than the numbers would suggest. More on this in a few. The second highest ranked team in the NBA for 2022 are last year's champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. After winning last year's championships, it is clear that the media is somewhat marginalizing the Bucks' accomplishment by not having them automatically locked for the top spot. I mean, after the Lakers won the pandemic chip in 2020, they were automatically slotted in as the favorites to win it again despite having shown no such capacity, considering half of the league wasn't even available. Not only did they have the Lakers as the de facto number one, but Anthony Davis and LeBron James were heralded as the top two players in the entire league. This is almost too messed up to even joke about. But they were serious. The Bucks last year had a 46-26 record, giving them the third best record in the East. The acquisition of Drew Holiday and PJ Tucker paired nicely with Giannis and Chris Middleton and gave the Bucks one of the highest offensive and defensive rating in the league. Unfortunately for the Bucks, they lost Bryn Forbes, who shot 45% for the year, as well as P.J. Tucker, and added George Hill, Grayson Allen, and Rodney Hood. This most certainly didn't help the Bucks, but as long as they have their core of Holiday, Middleton, and Antetokounmpo, there's not much they have to be worried about. As a matter of fact, replace any one of those guys with someone decent around Antetokounmpo, and the Bucks still have a good shot. The Bucks are coming back with around the same amount of firepower they had last time and I could see them duking it out with a healthy Golden State Warriors team. I'd say the teams are somewhat equal. The first and highest ranked team in the league currently are the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets finished last year with a 48-24 record during the regular season and the second best record in the East behind the 76ers. Led by Kevin Durant during the second round of the playoffs, the Brooklyn Nets took the Milwaukee Bucks to 7 games and barely lost after Kevin Durant's 3 was downgraded to a 2 after it was noticed that his foot was on the line. The Nets came this close to winning the series and ultimately a chance at winning the championships. Considering the Nets are ranked number 1 this year, this means that many folks believe that if the Nets and the Bucks were to run it back with healthy squads, the Nets would be the victors as they have more talent on paper. Both KD and James Harden are considered to be elite and able to carry a team, so the two together should be a potent offensive duo. Add Kyrie to the mix and this is more fuel to the fire. Although there is a lot of overlap with the skill sets of these players, the three are talented enough to make it work out there on the floor. While they have more talent at the top than the Warriors, the Warriors have a much deeper roster. It wouldn't be the first time that the Splash Brothers took on Kevin Durant paired with another superstar and put both KD and his co-star MVP to rest. But you don't have to take my word for it. Go ahead and type below the video, where did Game 6 Clay come from? You'll see. And there is only one way to stop Game 6 Clay. Danny Green has been cursed ever since. Not to mention the fact that Kyrie Irving is still a wild card for the Brooklyn Nets. So we have yet to see how that'll turn out. Are the Warriors better than the Nets? I think they are breakneck even. Absent a miracle, we're likely to see these two teams face off in the NBA Finals come next year. The Bucks are capable of taking down the Nets if all goes well, and if the Lakers click their heels three times, no miracle will be able to save them from the Warriors sending them back to where they came from. When Klay comes back right where he left off, the Lakers will be left struggling and out of breath trying to keep up with Poole, Klay, and Steph Curry. It will be an absolute bloodbath as LeBron takes his last gasp and stares into the eyes of the man who took his last shot shred of dignity and expose LBJ's shame of assembling the most villainous band of all-stars and hall of famers for an assured victory only to fall victim to the baby-faced assassin. Toupe, I mean uh, touche LeBron, touche. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my assessments on the rankings of these teams. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you stay updated on all my latest videos. Till next time. Word, I'm a player, the real player. I don't give a prayer, man. A naysayer, a block so hard, sweetie, get served. Call me Lonzo Ball, bitches get swerved. Usually, I don't get down with these girls, but. To